What the world needed was a hero. What the world got was a monkey. <laughs> Join Monkey this Easter on a romp through history. As Britain's favorite knitted chimp takes the silver screen by storm. I need to probe you further, Anita. Blooming delicious. A tale of two continents Choo -choo. in a cinema near you this Easter. First, there were the adverts. Then, the chat show appearances. There were even toys fashioned in my image. But now, I have finally made the leap to where I really belong. The movie! This is the story of tea. From its accidental discovery thousands of years ago to the news that's rattling cups and saucers in two continents this very day. We are going to change the world one cup at a time! <laughs> The journey starts almost 5,000 years ago, when the whole tea thing began. Legend has it that Emperor Shen Nong was sitting in the shade of a camellia tree, enjoying his favourite drink. There you go, Chuck. One cup of boiling water. Just how you like it. Nice one, Nancy. You are a smasher. When some leaves fell from the tree, what followed was to change the world forever. The water in his cup changed colour. What on earth? Uh, uh, uh. Lesser men would have slung it in the flower beds and demanded a fresh cup. But not your man Shen Nong. Oh no. Curious and inquisitive, he took a sip. Nancy, that is blooming delicious. Woo Tea was born. Biscuits, they came later. I wanted to find out what happened as a result of Shenong's amazing discovery. That's why I've come here, to this Chinese museum in England's capital, London. Uh, uh, this is... Uh... Who is it? Caroline. Uh, Caroline, of course it is. Caroline. Now, Caroline is an expert in all things Chinese. I gather you've got a degree, Caroline. Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Well, so have I. Now, I think you have something for us. Yes. This is a ceramic bowl from 3000 BC. Ooh. Just like the one Emperor Shenong drank from. Wow. No handle, eh? That must have been difficult, especially if his cuppa was straight out of the kettle. <laughs> oh, yes. The intricate detailing, the meticulous paint craft. It's just... Uh, uh, you knocked me, Caroline. You did. Everyone saw that. You've knocked it on the floor, and now you're going to lose your job, and probably your pension scheme too. Cut! Cut! Ah, oh, there, there. A little bit of glue, a little bit of love, it'll be right as rain. You watch. Lovely arms. So, Caroline, tea in those days, did it come in pyramid bags? No, it didn't, monkey. In the Han Dynasty, tea leaves were crushed and squashed into hard blocks like these called tea bricks, see? Rock hard. Oh, that's incredible. And if you fancy the cuppa, you'd hack a bit off, powder it up, put it into boiling water, and you'd have a cup of tea, just like we have now, though. And how did most people take it back then, Caroline? Milk one sugar? No. Two sugars? No. Not artificial sweetness, surely? No, people didn't take milk or sugar in their tea for another 4,000 years, monkey. Ah, the fools! They were only a walk to the fridge away from brilliance. Well, thanks, Caroline, even if you did knock me. Come on, then. You be mum. Careful. I'd learnt a lot. But what happened next? How did tea end up in its rightful home? Inga Ahoy! The Wonder Brew reached...
start shores thanks to the tea clipper races of the 19th century. Captains in pointy hats would load up their ships with tea in the Chinese port of Taipang, then race back to Blighty, toot sweet, crew against crew, ship against ship, man against scurvy. The first ship to arrive home got the most wonga for their cargo. Those brave, brave sailors. As we headed north past somewhere, on the next leg of my investigation, I realised not much has changed in the world of tea, but lots has changed in the way we live our lives. Today, we recycle, we turn off the tap when we brush our teeth, I even reuse sticky plasters that I fish out of swimming pools. But, most importantly, we realise that the way we live our lives affects the environment and the lives of others. What we buy here has an effect a whole continent away. It's really important for us to know where things come from and how they're made. We drink 8 billion cups of PG tips a year, enough to fill some football stadiums. Well, how many? What? I don't know, do I? I'm not the brain of Britain. <laughs> That's a lot of tea. Hang on a minute, that's what this story's all about. The people that grow the stuff. The tea farmers. I've come to this place to meet a woman they say is called Anita. She knows all about tea farmers, apparently. And she's willing to spill the beans. So, Anita, explain yourself using words. I'm from an independent organisation called Rainforest Alliance. What are you suggesting? If we start growing tea in rainforests, that's madness. They'll lock you up. <laughs> Not at all, Monkey. We're called Rainforest Alliance because we started off looking after the interests of tropical rainforests many years ago. Mm. All right, so sorry. Do go on. But now we work on sustainability projects all over the world. It's our job. An extra twist of line. I've done it again, haven't I? It's I'm our... Sorry, go on, carry on. It's our job to help farmers all over the world. Farmers? Tea farmers. I knew it. I need to probe you further, Anita. What are you up to with my pals at PG Tips? Well, PG Tips have always been concerned about the environment and their workers, yeah. uh, but they wanted to do more. So they contacted us and now we're working together. So how are you going to make sure that their tea is da bomb? The full Monty, the kahuna, down with the kids, booyah shaka! Well, PG Tips is only going to buy tea from plantations that have earned our Green Frog Certificate. This is Kericho, a PG Tips plantation in Kenya. Ah, and how does a plantation get a certificate? Off the internet? No, monkey. Lots of things have to be right. Farmers and their workers have to earn a decent living. They have to have access to things like hospitals and doctors and schools for their children. Rivers need to be protected and wildlife, like birds and monkeys. Elephants? Do you do elephants? <laughs> yeah. Real ones? Yes. Good. Um, only then does the Rainforest Alliance issue a certificate. Oh, that's genius. But how will this affect me, Anita, the man on the street? Well, it won't really. But I can tell you that Rainforest Alliance's work has already helped improve the quality of life of one and a half million farmers, farm workers and their families in some 14 countries. Wowza! One and a half million, that's quite a lot, isn't it? This really is big. Here's a thought, Anita. I'll be PG Tips and you'll be Rainforest Alliance. I think that pretty much sums up the whole thing, Anita, don't you? PG Tips and Rainforest Alliance are now very good friends. Yeah, I suppose so. And mention it. Oh, my car's here. Take care, Anita. All the best. Where's my car? Is it here? My investigation of success, I headed home with the good news. You and I can help farmers, farm workers and their families around the world by putting the right kind of tea in our cups. It's so easy to do our bit. To your coffee, sir. Is it PG Tips? Yep. Ah, brilliant! After what I've just heard, I think I'll have the tea. In fact, go on, have one yourself. <laughs> do you know what, chummy? It's tea o'clock and I'm the tea master. <laughs> choo choo! Tea for everyone! Yeah! Who's your monkey? Who's your monkey? A tale of two continents indeed. 50% of PG Tips tea now comes from Rainforest Alliance certified plantations. By 2010, every cuppa will be fully certified. So come on, folks, from Aberdeen to Aberystwyth, 
Wandsworth to the Wirral and everywhere in between. Join me and do your bit. Put the kettle on. We called Rainforest Alliance because we started off looking after the interests. Of <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, can we do that again? I missed the, I missed the straw. Mm. I am sorry, Anita. Do go on. Oh, God, get away my mouth! Get away! Okay. Oh, right. My car's here. Ta da! Bye, Anita. Can we get her number for later? Thank you. <laughs> Which way is out? I'm oh, getting out! I can moonwalk, Anita. Can I see my moonwalk? <laughs> okay. There it is! <laughs> Not so easy with the arthritis. Still here! Ah! I went nowhere! I'm just acting! Playing. Hello, extras. I am monkey. Birds and monkeys? Ah, yeah, me. Must be protected. What about elephants? Good grief! That move then! Did you see that move? Holy moly! Start again! <laughs> your coffee, sir. To your coffee, sir. When I'm on the train, I feel free as a monkey in a tree. Why have we stopped? Hmm? Does the driver want one? Tell him to send someone down here and keep driving. I want to get there. I've got to get to Birmingham. We drink 8 billion cups of PG tips a year. Now can you stop the banging? Do you mind? I'm trying to make telly! <laughs> Not a building! Not again. Ow! God, my nose! <clears throat> Idiot. Sack him. Who's brave? Brave sailors! But I'm soaked, you oaf! What's the face I said? How many times? I'm dry clean only, you fool! You're the Muppet! If I shrink, you're re-knitting me! Every last stitch till you sweat! Welcome to my film! Alright, you want to do the introduction? I'm just going to finish this biscuit. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm here with Monkey in the studio, and we're going to give you a commentary of his latest film. Can I tell you about him? Of course you can, yes. Steve! Very smelly neck. That this man, very smelly neck. Okay, so yes, this is Monkeys, A Tale of Two Continents, which Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. I think you're the proud owner of on DVD. So, Monkey, yep. tell us about your film. Well, uh, here I am making a film about tea. Um, finally got here. You know, it's been a wonderful experience. It was a long shoot, it was hard work. I, I, some days went on for up to four hours, but luckily we got there in the end, and I think you'll see that's really reflected in this shot here. That, is, that is a beautiful shot, it really yeah. is a beautiful London, shot. It's London, that bit. Ah. Now, now, this first scene, Monkey, is absolutely ah. stunning. Tell me, which part of China did you film this in? China! Uh, any more specific? China! China! It was in China. So we, we, we went to... Okay, China, okay. Chi yep, and uh, it's where tea started in China. So we went there. I think what's wonderful for the viewers, Monkey, is to, is to actually see the very first ever cup of tea being made. I'm getting emotional. Is that wrong? I mean, I don't think it is, but I feel like I've got a tear in my eye because this is just so good. It's just wonderful how you've brought Look this Look at that life. shot! Look at that shot! Magic. Oh, wow. she was wonderful. She Alice. was, yeah, Alice. Yeah. She, was, it, was it Peckham she's from? Yes, from Peckham. Nancy, that is... This you. is so moving. <laughs> yes, I find... I'm really sorry, I didn't think this would happen, I promised Biscuits, they came later. He was born, yeah. Biscuits, they came later. That's right. Wow. It was a very emotional scene, that. So where are we now, cool. Monkey? Where are we now? This We're is... in the Museum of China. And the... where, where was that, Monkey? In China? China. China. By, by China, by the way, I, I do actually mean West Acton, um, where they've got a Chinese museum. Uh, so that's where we were there. It's stunning. It's a wonderful location. China. Yeah. It's Carla. There she is, Carla. Um, this was a great scene. This, you know, there was a chemistry here, Darren. Um, I really need to ask you, Monkey. I get asked a lot about this. The bowl! People, people know that you and I are friends, and yes, the bowl. Did you really smash a 3,000-year-old bowl? <laughs> In many ways, no, I didn't. 
In one crucial way, yes, I did. Now, the point is, if you look at this shot here very carefully, you'll see there is already a crack in the bowl. All right? I can see it. I can see it. That is a key plank of my legal case. See the chipping there? Do you see? There is chipping and a crack. So in many ways, the bowl was already broken. And she kicked me. Free man. Okay, you can well see I, where she knocked me as well. I wish you the best of luck with she that. She actually court kicked case. me. She kicked me underneath the uh, stand. It doesn't look like she does knock no, you. She did. No. no. Yeah, she did. She did kick me. Yeah, she, was very, she was very upset. Very upset. Yeah. Well, you would be. You know, if you kicked a monkey, it's going to make you upset, isn't it? It's an upsetting thing to do. We're an endangered species, practically. You don't go kicking monkeys, do you? That's a, that's a very good point. I never never saw it from your angle. I never saw that. <gasps> never saw it from your point of view. No, well, you wouldn't, would you? Um, okay. uh, so that's tea there. That's a block of tea. Uh, um, again, tea that's been um, there for millions of years, I think. Is it two million years old, that tea? Uh, I can't remember. It's, it's, I think if I remember from the, uh, screen, from the screenplay that yeah. I read, I think it's 3,000 years old. 3,000, wow. Not as much as a million, but not far off. No, this is, there's a big difference. Yeah. I love that line, Monkey. That is my favourite line in the film. No artificial up. sweetness. I made that up. It's based on a line in the script, but I made it up. Yeah. It's, it's very good. The line in the script said artificial sweetness, and I said not artificial sweetness. Wow. wow. I often improvise, you know. Do you? Let me I'd just turn the page. Lot. Yes, I do. Yes. But what happened now, this bit here is the sea, uh, and I filmed this over... I think we were there for a week, weren't we? We, we went out to an island. Were you in the Azores, I heard? That's right, the Azores. And uh, we spent a week out there, which was absolutely necessary, until we realised after the week that it didn't rain. So instead, we came back to the Thames Estuary and filmed it there. But it was a good time in the Azores. This but it looked like real. it was raining. Yes, that's because they got a flower pot plant waterer. A watering can. Watering can! Watering can! High five! Yes, we got a watering can, and um, we, we put that on my, my head in the end. As we headed north past somewhere. Would you take your arm off my shoulder? My sorry, sorry. So the train, you're heading off on the train the now. The train, on this I'd scene. see there in that shot, you can see it was very flooded that day. The weather had been awful, and we got on the train, and we came through Watford, and, and we just kept going into the countryside. And before we knew it, as we approached, I think, Leamington, beautiful! Lovely weather, as you can see from that. So uh, we had a lovely day in that train. The sticky ah! plasters, can I just ask, do you really fish sticky plasters? No, Al does. Not me, Al. Nothing to do with me. Ah, your flatmate. Housemate, actually. We bought. Oh, yeah, on the, yeah. On the property ladder. Thank you, Now, the football Eva. stadium. Which football stadium is this? Oh, it's um, London FC, that one. London FC. Yeah. You're a big football fan, are you? Yes, here? yeah, yes. One of the people. I may be a monkey, but I'm one of the people. I love football and I, I love it and I love tennis and, and, and snooker so. great that's, that's great, the next monkey. scene monkey is, is pivotal within your story yes yes it goes a bit dark now but every film has to have a dark point to come through you know look at Rain Man um, Wimbledon all those films have a have a moment you have to get through and this is this is one of them oh Anita here she is Anita there with an elephant's trunk scratching her back now I've heard a rumor that she was terrified of elephants true story she scared of elephants. That she thing. is horrified during this whole scene. Wow, wow. But doesn't it come across well? Yeah, I'm looking at her now. Mm. Let's just pause for a second and look at the fear in her eyes. You, wow, it, she's, she's terrified. She is terrified, but she covers it up beautifully well. She was a lovely girl, Anita, and she did give me her number, which was embarrassing, but uh, I've kept it. The slurping scene is one of the funniest I've seen in the films for many thank, years. Thank you very much, because if you slurp when someone's speaking, it's funny. You know, it's just one of the golden rules of comedy. Yeah. Fall over and slurp drink. Funny, funny, funny. Very, very funny. Now, were there any kind of crazy practical jokes on the set of the film? <laughs> yes, or? yes, there were. Come on, tell yes. me one story, just one. Um, well, Anita... She's actually, not wearing any shoes, I heard this. She's not wearing any shoes, is she? No, she's not wearing any shoes. And this is where Anita talks about the work that she's doing with PG Tips, which is very yes. exciting. She's helping people improve their lives, and uh, I feel that's really important. But with her tea, you can really taste the hope. And how does a plantation get a certificate? Yeah. I didn't come on this shoot, because I hadn't had my injections, so I couldn't go over here. But uh, it looks like it was a lovely day. Notice how they're getting the tips, and that's... that's uh, Two tips and a bud, I think, monkey. Rivers need to be prepared. Thus, they call it PG tips. PG tips. There's a monkey, monkey! <laughs> yeah. Real ones? 
Yes. Oh, You're so funny in the scene, monkey. She could barely contain herself. I think if they were still alive, it would be Laurel, Hardy, and Monkey. That's how funny I am in this scene, don't you think? Yes, at least, at least that funny. It's a great, great shot. Though. Lovely acting from the extra there in the background. Can you see her sipping her tea? There, oh, there. Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. I think every performance in this film, Monkey, is is worthy of note. Every performance. Yes, and some of them are even worthy of nominations. Yeah, I do think? hear that. Nominations? I hear that. Oh, the kiss. Oh, oh dear. Oh, Mrs. Monkey would not be happy watching that. I think that pretty much sums up the whole thing, Anita, don't you? Oh, PG yes. tips and rainforest alike. Look at the chemistry. You can almost see electricity it's a passing wonderful... between us at this point. It's a, an incredible screen kiss. I think it will go down in movie history, yes. at least of the last... Six months. Yeah, success. definitely, definitely. Back on the train. There we are. Now this is a piece to camera, Darren. And what that means is I speak to the camera. Do you see how I'm doing it? Uh, yes. I'm not acting now. The fourth wall has sort of been lifted, and I'm looking right through it at you. It's almost like I'm sitting there with you. It really. Is. That's the idea. That's the idea. Brilliant. Um, so, uh, who are your inspirations from the film world, Monkey? Who, who do you look up to? Olivier. Um. Mike Lee and uh, Pete Waterman, I think. Wow. Pete Waterman, he's made some wonderful... And of course, David Jason. All big names. Yeah. All big names. A tale of two continents indeed. Ah, there we are, back in the uh, chopper. Stinky I mean, Steve there. This is the final crescendo of the film, and I think, yes. as a viewer, the first time I saw it in the cinema, yes. I was, I felt so uplifted and you so You knew you were on a journey. So empowered. You knew you were on a journey, and you didn't know what was going to happen next, did you? There was a sense of the twist, and then the... at the end. You know, just that big explosion. Took hours to do that. Absolutely hours. Wow. I think the message Monkey. is clear. Monkey, yes. I must thank, say thank you. Is it we're, over? We're very nearly out of I time. I could keep going. Please. I could, I could tell you a wonderful story. I've got dinner, sorry. Can I? I must...